All right, guys. Hey, time for this long, uh, last winded video on PG Blitz with an encryption. So, yeah, I had to make one for each one of them. So, it's been a fun process. So, in this video, we're already assuming you have your authentication keys. If you don't, make sure you check the wiki because you're going to be pretty much stuck until you do it. Um, trying to think what else. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, we're just going to go ahead and kick it off. We're going to go ahead and use PG Clone which is basically a suite of services with all the APIs and blah, 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 all the good stuff written in. So you no longer have to mess with your R clone configuration. PG Blitz or technically Plex Scott will write everything for you. You do not need to do anything. It even builds out the G crypt and the T crypt for this edition. So you don't even have to even do that anymore. You just validate your G drive, validate your T drive and make some keys and call it a day. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set the edition to PG Blitz with encryption. Pretty simple. And then we're gonna to go to O authentication mounts. I already had this set from before, so you should see not set. If you do already have these activated, it doesn't matter. Um, it will let you enter stuff again as required. Um, so we're gonna start off with the O authentication. So we're gonna go ahead and get this. Remember, this is just a test, so this is useless to you. Paste, enter. And then we're gonna go do secret. And we're gonna paste it in and hit enter. And then you gotta select your, I forgot there's an extra thing in this. Okay, uh, you gotta do your label. So basically you're verifying your team drive. Remember it's crucial that your team drive, uh, well, you, ha you actually have a team drive established prior. So make sure you go to Google, you know, uh, make sure your team drive is on. It should be on by default. And then just create one at least, because if not, this whole process won't work for you. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and authenticate, and it's gonna pull all the name of your team drives for you. So stand by for one second. Welcome back. All right, go ahead and paste the key in here. And then you can see that it's allowing me to select the team drive. And then hit enter. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna configure the password. So I'm gonna hit four. So you need to set a primary password. Now, I'm gonna give you a warning and a tip at the same time. Make sure that your password is memorable. Make sure it is the same one once you do this because if you change the password, it's gonna come up completely blank. So once you set this password, that is the one that you need to use. And the reason you can tell here is, look, you see this You see this right here? I technically have my tcrypt set up, but I can only see one file and I did it on purpose. So you can see all these other files here. They are files, but if I ever try to access it, I can only see this one file based on my current setup because I put a different password on purpose. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense to you. So, um, you know, I'm just gonna do password one and then you're gonna do a secondary password. So password two, make sure that it's memorable. Do not forget it. So you forget it, you lock out all your data. That's the downside to encryption. It's almost like Bitcoin, right? So. If you, it, once you set it and you forget it, that's that's it. So if you do currently have Plex Guide running, it does store it in a specific location and you can just PM me on that and we can help you recover. But other than that, you'll be pretty much locked out. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and enter. And that's, it's gonna confirm if you want those as your password. So it shows you one more time. If not, it'll kick you out and you can go ahead and do it again and go from there. And then we need to validate our G drive. So you're basically gonna repeat the same process twice. But see, now you don't have to do anything else. It's just saying, uh, well, I had a prior configuration of before, so I was deleting it. But uh, basically you just validate. This is gonna build your G, crypt, G drive and G crypt for your R clone, which is off this one move right here. So I'll just go ahead and pause that. Welcome back. Go ahead and paste this in here. And then it's gonna do validation checks, which is a good thing. If that doesn't work, it means that your API is not on. Team, uh, what else am I thinking? Your API is not on, wrong account. So there's a reason why it's just not working. And so it's not on our end. But 99% of the times you should be good to go. It's only for the few and the proud. T drive, same process. So this is asking me if I want to delete it. My prior configuration, yes. Do I want to use this configuration now? Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and do this right here real quick. Pause it again. Okay, we already put in the token for T drive. And this is building T drive and T crypt. So combination of both for you. Okay. So now what we have to do is we have to go create keys. I already have keys. Um, 
backed up and everything, but I'm going to treat it as though we're doing this again. Make sure you sign into the Google account. Make sure you sign into the Google account with the G drive or has the access to it. So that could be uh, problem number one. Kind of did that one before. And then two, you're going to create a project. So establish a project as like ones that you already have. If you have more than five projects, it won't let you create anymore. But uh, establish means they just put one in place. So right now I'm going to say no because I already have one, but you, I think you get the idea. So, you know, do yes, type in your project name exactly what it is and save. Okay, set project ID, no. Okay, the one glitch I still have me out all the way back to the main menu. Okay, so um, we're going to create service keys. And... It's going to check that make sure that your T, T drive setup is correct because if it's not, it'll kick you out. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create two. And the question some people have is like, if I already created other service keys, do I need to delete my other ones? No. I just put that option there for you if you ever just want to clear them all out. Uh, Olplex guy did destroy all your stuff and you always had to do the email thing, you know. So, um, and then you've got to make sure to do the email generator. This is the only thing I haven't automated yet. And it's already on my project list to do because if I can do it, it's one less step you got to deal with. Because the good thing is, where do you have the name of your team drive? So that kind of helps us out a lot. So I'm going to do add members. And there's so many members because I've done so many tests. It doesn't matter. And continue. If you forget this step, when you try to deploy your drive, it will kick you out and you'll basically say, hey, did you share your emails? Some people say they did, they really didn't. But like I said, I built in all these validation checks to kind of cut down on this stuff. And I don't blame you. You know, like I said, some some problems are um, unique for people, depending on your Linux experience. So it's going to check your G drive right now. And then it's checking your T drive. And then it's checking one of your keys. So if you didn't do it, it would pause you right there and stop. And it's now deploying everything. See, there goes the G crypt. Here goes the T crypt. And you'd be and to be honest with you, like I said, all this all this is quite a learning curve. Definitely with the encryption. So just remember that once you set up the encryption, you can't really go back um, on it. So if because if you do, you have to download everything from your encrypted mount to your unencrypted mount, and that part is not fun. And then remember with the unencrypt, yeah, to the yeah, I, I got it exactly as I said it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. And then we're going to do some checks. These are some recommendations that I built. So I built uh, commands. If you're going to check the status of it, just remember S and then whatever it is. So S union FS, right? This is the merge of all your drives. If you see the green, that's good. Don't worry about exited. Just trust me. That's how union FS works. S, um, I haven't built blitz yet, but S G drive. See, hit c control C to get out. And then you can see T drive. So you can see all your mounts up and running. That's good. Because if they weren't, that's a bad day. And then you can even check your G crypt. See, running. And then T crypt, running. So those are pretty much all running. It's really technically working because if your drive is not read properly, it'll bounce red. Um, and then if you wanna check your drives, you can do LS, LA, mount, uh, G drive. There you go, LSLA mount T drive, LSLA. I always do these checks to be honest with you, just to make sure that everything's good to go. Yep, and you could, this is from my old test. LSLA mount, mount T crypt. And I don't have anything in there because it's kind of my first time. But anyways, we could test that out real quick. So we're gonna do CD, if we're gonna do a test, we're gonna do CD mount move. And then we're going to do touch uh, man, bear, pig is now eating people. There we go. South Park reference. So, okay. LSLA. So if I type PG log, see, that command may change over time. Just to give you a heads up. LSLA. It's gone now. So we're going to do PG log. And it should say that it uploaded. Good. And then we're gonna go here. We're gonna go to team drives. We're gonna go to media. Uh, 
media and I gotta give it a second this should show up sometimes it does take a minute for it to kick in there we go see good to go and it's an add encrypt folder now here's a tip you notice we didn't see any fo other tcrypt files in here you know why it's because if your passwords are different you're not going to see your other stuff so every time you set this up you need to make sure that your passwords are the same does that kind of make sense so make sure you set up your password and correctly and you'll be good to go but other than that that's pretty much it so please subscribe like uh, donate if you can, um, interact with members on the community, anything just to, to keep this project alive and going. Um, I do appreciate your time. Uh, I do want to say thank you to Flickr Rate, Physic, and DeQ, definitely for the encryption piece because it was a nightmare. Uh, it was never fully complete, but each thing that each person did really contributed in the end and to figure out this entire puzzle. All right, you have an outstanding day. Have a good one.